Shari here today and I am going to be making this fun die cut card that has no stamping whatsoever on it. Um, so this is a tall card so I'm going to start with a piece of cream card stock here and I'm going to cut it down so that I make a card that is four inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. So I'm cutting this at eight inches so it's eight and a half tall by eight inches wide and then I'm going to score it at the four inch mark. And my scoreboard is actually a little short, so I'm just going to turn around and make sure I score it on both sides. And then this is actually going to be a side folding card. So once I've got that score line there, I can just fold it and make sure that my fold is nice and sharp with my bone folder. And then here we have a tall side folding card. Now I'm going to cover my card with this paper from the Really Rainbow Christmas collection because I like this blue striped side and I think it's going to make a nice sky for my little scene. It's got a pattern to it but it's subtle enough to where it's not going to be distracting from the items that I'm going to place on top. So I'm cutting it at four inches wide and then I will cut it to eight and a half inches tall. And I'm just going to adhere this straight to the front of my card base. I'm making sure I put my adhesive around all four sides and then I like to put a couple runs right down the center. So I'm just going to line this up with my card base and make sure it's nice and glued down. So I had the idea to take the little candy cards and make them into balloons. And this is actually kind of a revisit of a card I made for Inspiration Week that had the little raccoon holding the balloons. This was kind of my original idea. Do you ever have one of those ideas where you just kind of forget? That was this. <laughs> so I'm revisiting it because I meant to make it with the little gift box raccoon from the very beginning. So I just took some scrap paper in guava, sunflower, and sugar plum and cut out a couple of those hearts. I cut out more than I needed because I wasn't sure how many balloons I wanted to do. I've also gone ahead and cut out some of the pieces of that little raccoon gift box add-on. And I'm just going to assemble those. So I've got his little mask that's cut out of storm cloud cardstock with some black licorice cardstock behind it for the eyes. I'm going to use the little paw die that comes with that set and cut out his little paws out of this front piece that I have, which is cut out of the narwhal cardstock. And this will give him a place to hold my little balloons. So I'm just going to glue his little mask on, his little face. And then I'm going to assemble his tail too, which I will adhere in here in a little bit. Um, there's a little bit more assembly of him. Because I'm going to use those pieces that you see up there that are the feet that go on the sides of the box when you make the box. I'm going to use it to make some little feet like behind him. So I'm going to set these pieces aside and I'm going to continue with my card. I have a piece of green cardstock here that I'm cutting with the grassy border. And it's actually a little wider than I need. It's four and a quarter because it was a scrap piece from another card. So I'm just going to trim it down to where it's four inches wide. And this will go along the bottom. I did make it nice and tall so that I have a place for my sentiment to go underneath my little raccoon. And since this is a nice tall card, it's going to take up a lot of real estate and help fill the space more as well. So he can just sit on the grass just like that. So now for my little balloons, I also cut out the solid heart out of some vellum and I'm just going to layer that behind them just to kind of fill in the words a little bit and it also helps with that XOXO one up there. I'm just going to use some adhesive runner and just put a little bit on the point of the heart and then above the word. So I'm making sure not to put any of that adhesive where the cutout word is. And then this little vellum heart just layers right behind. It's slightly smaller than the heart on top, and so it's easy to line up and you not see anything. So I went ahead and did that to the pink heart and the purple heart. And then you can see here I've put two little dots of glue, and I'm going to add in the center of the O's. So this vellum is going to help hold the center of those O's. You don't have to do this detail, but it does add some nice detail to it so you can see those O's very well. 
but you could leave the centers out if you didn't want to do this. So I'm just using my tweezers because these are very small little pieces here. And I decided to stick with three balloons. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a little glue dot, I'm putting it down on the point, and then I've just got some string here in colors that match my cardstock, I just pulled it out of my stash. And I'm just gonna stick that to that glue dot and then I'm gonna cut it super long because I'm gonna trim it off later. So what I found the first time I made a card like this, with the other one is I tried to use the twine and although I love the twine, it's a little too stiff. So I decided to try something different this time and this string worked perfectly. So once I kind of figured out how many I wanted and where I wanted them, I'm just adding some foam squares to the back of my balloons. And this will pop them up off the card base a little bit. It'll also give room for that blue dot and that string behind it. So once I figure out where I want them, I can pull off the foam backer pieces and stick them right on the card. So I'm gonna start with the one at the top so I can get my spacing right. And then I'll just work my way down. I'm trying to pull my strings as I go so that they're in the right place and they don't look like they're too far left or right and they come more straight down. So you can see if I pop up his little paw there that I die cut, these will fit nicely right in his hand. And he looks like he's holding the balloons. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put the grass on so now that I can start figuring out where all these pieces go and get my little raccoon on there. So I'm just lining that right up with the bottom. And then for my raccoon, I'm going to come assemble him the rest of the way here. So I've got those feet, that's gonna go behind him. And I've got the tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the tail to the feet part. So this is gonna be on the very back. I'm just adding it with a glue dot. And I'm actually gonna put some foam between that back piece with the feet and the front piece with the face. But before I do that, I realized I needed to fill in my ears. So I'm gonna put my foam square back for a second. And then this is a little trick I did with the ears. So this is that same die that cuts the feet, but I'm just going to cut just the feet part. I'm gonna flip it over so you don't see the little markings for his toes. And you can layer that right behind the ears. So this is helps, you don't have to cut out those little tiny pink pieces and try to figure out how they fit in there because this is gonna be popped up off the base. So it would be really hard to glue that pink into those openings. So now that that pink piece is there and the ears are filled in, now I can add my foam. I'm making sure to put it between the cutout paws and the top, and then I'm gonna layer it on the feet. So now he looks like he has some feet down there, but he's still got some dimension to him. I'm also gonna add that little nose that's cut there with the mouth attached. And now I can figure out where he goes on the card. So I've got a craft knife here and I'm actually picking up a glue dot with it. I'm sorry I'm off screen, but I'm pulling it off there. So I've got a glue dot on the end and I'm gonna place that glue dot on the back side of his paw. And this is gonna help hold the strings in place. So now that that glue dot's back there, I can pull my strings tight and I can tuck them into his paw once I figure out where I want him to be. And I decided I wanted to put him a little bit to the right side so that those strings didn't come down directly in the center of his face and cover up his little face. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him down. 
I'm going to put him close to the top of the grass so that I have room for that sentiment. You can see that sentiment that's cut there that says sending hugs, and that's cut out of the black glitter cardstock. So now that he's on there, I'm going to take those strings and tuck them back in there. I'm going to use my tweezers to help push those strings onto that glue dot. And then to kind of help hold those in there, because I was sort of afraid they might let go since it's just a glue dot, I decided to add a little pink heart. And this little heart comes in that gift box add-on set with the raccoon and the fox. And I just think it adds a nice little detail and it helps hold those blue strings in there. So it's almost like he's bringing you a valentine with a bunch of balloons attached. And once I've got all that in there, and nice and secure, I can just trim off the extra of those strings. So now I'm adding a little bit of liquid glue to the back of the sending hugs sentiment that I cut out of that black glitter cardstock. And I'm just doing little dots of glue all over. It's cut a little wider than I need it to be, but I'll just trim off the edges once I get it in place. And I like to use a block when I have really fine die cuts like this, just to put even pressure over the whole thing and not shift it around. I had a little bit of glue come out of the edges just in a couple places, so I'm just going in with my piercing tool and just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. And now I can trim off those extra pieces where that sentiment overhangs the sides. So finally, to decorate the sky a little more, and fill it in a little more, I have some clouds cut here, and I cut out the outline clouds out of some pixie dust cardstock, and then I've got the solid ones that match, and I'm going to cut those out of some vellum. And then I'm just going to place these around, overlapping the frames over top of the vellum. And so this way I can put the adhesive behind the frame to adhere my vellum down and hide that glue. So this is just me figuring out where I want these pieces. And then I'm going to show you here how I glued them down. So I'm just going to add glue on the back of the frame, sort of where it overlaps the vellum. And then once I have that in place, I can flip it over, and now I can see where to put the adhesive on the back of the vellum. So I'm just going to trace that frame with my liquid adhesive. I'm going to, of course, add adhesive to the rest of the frame that's not on the vellum, so that that part will also stick to the card. And then I can just put it in place. And I'm sliding this one behind my strings to add to the dimension of the scene. And again, I'm going to use my block just to put some even pressure down and hold it in place for a second or two while I move on to the next one. So for this one, I didn't actually have that little cloud behind it, and I discovered, well, I can't glue down this little vellum cloud without a frame on top of it and you not see the adhesive. So I'm just adding that one up there to the top of that larger frame cloud. And again, I'm just going in with my piercing tool just to clean up any adhesive that's sticking out too much. I'm going to do the same thing with this third one. And then I can just trim off all those pieces that are going past the edge of my card. Now for this one at the top, you'll see here in just a second, it, it's kind of loose up there just because there's nothing close to the edge. And I actually ended up adding a little bit of vellum adhesive to it. You can see it slightly, but you can't see it too much. But I was just afraid that would catch on something. So now I have some clear droplets. These are from Studio Cadia Clear Drops. 
and I just place them around where I want them. They come in three sizes, and then I'm just putting a drop of glue behind them. I'm picking them up with my jewel picker and then placing them onto that drop of glue. And maybe don't do what I just did, which was spill them everywhere. <laughs> Luckily, these weren't too tiny of pieces and were easy to clean up. So finally, I lost the little dot of my eye in the sending hug. So I just cut another one from the glitter card stock. And I'm just going to add that just for that final touch. I just happened to lose it when I was punching my sentiment out of the piece of paper. And there you have it. There is the finished card. I just think it's really fun to use the dies in a different way than they were intended as balloons. And I really like the look of the tall skinny card. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.